are now joined by UFC featherweight Gavin Tucker, and we'll take our first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Big Side Press. Hello, Gavin. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, Gavin, I know 2020 was rough on a lot of people, but you had a great year in the cage, getting two wins in the octagon. I was wondering just how would you sum up the last year for you? Um, the last year has been you know, tough, tough on the world, tough on everyone, but we we're really fortunate where we were to get some training in, to have a good setup and kind of be well planned for it. So um, having the opportunity to fight is obviously a massive bonus and getting two wins is an even bigger bonus. So. I'm very grateful that I get the opportunity to do my job through the pandemic and uh, very grateful to show the world victories and to kind of continue that momentum as the, as the new year's uh, trucks along. Was there a lot of change up in the preparation? Because I knew, you know, possibly Cub Swanson. Now, obviously you have Danny Gay. Was there a lot of training in terms of the strategy and stuff you were working on? Yeah, there's a change, but I, I have a folder for everybody. Just change the folder. Okay, you cut off a little bit, but I think I got that one. Um, secondly, just what are your thoughts on Danny Gay and what he brings to the table as an opponent? Um, as an opponent, I think he brings um, you know, a well-rounded game. It's a good... Uh, Good energy system, good good cardio throughout the fight. Uh, has definite um, strengths and and it's like all of us. So, I'm not gonna get into too many specifics on. Uh, he's a world class opponent. And if it is, I think the numbers to his name is a is a testament to that, and, and that's what I'm looking at. My final question: Just what are your goals for 2021? Um. To get the most out of myself, you know, to optimize my training, optimize my performance, be the best athlete I can, and uh, and be a good man. Hey, thank you, Gavin. Best of luck. We'll take our next set of questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. Hello, man. Back in Apex again. How you really enjoy the crowd aspect? Yeah, the no crowd is very good. It feels a lot like a gym atmosphere if you have a small crowd in the gym. So we actually do a lot of simulation sparring where we go in and everything from buffer sound bites to uh, pocket music. Kind of really recreates the experience right where you are in the and recreates that, that intensity really. Intensity is something that you can't recreate in the crowd because obviously you can't. As far as it feels all so and everything else, but effective with small crowds and being able to which is definitely size more direct audibly. That's a massive, massive thing. Nothing um, super complicated but and, and for a guy like you who's a very cerebral fighter, a guy that I mean, at, at most times, but don't don't get it twisted, you know, like MMA is such a dirty sport that it gets dirty and I get dirty. I'm not just I'm not just that. But I'm a fighter and that as well. So I don't expect this fight to be cerebral. But you see, there's going to be pockets of dirt I'm, and I'm getting in it. Some of the main factors is just uh, my lifestyle consistency of training. So I love, I'm really great. And uh, track is as easy in this world to not be. So I um, just love, just, um, just 
sport. The last one for me is, you know, a lot of people do consider you a true dark horse, and that's going to go away as you start to get more and more, more often. What do you think the, the biggest threat you pose to this division? What, what's different about you that separate a different level from the guys that were in the Super Bowl? Everyone in the top 15 has a skill set. I don't think it's any there, but everything's the same. Which is the worst. <clears throat> put in time into the study, put in time into the mental, put in time into the athletics, put in time into the tactics. Obviously, it goes along with the sport that people see inside of process of these process leading up to these things. I focus, quality focus. God willing, I will <coughs> on my show. That's all we have for you today, Gavin. Thank you. Thank you.